Let's learn how to use the peer class in Tailwind with an example. Let's create a label and make it a flex container. Change the flex direction to column and center the items. Create a gap of four. Inside, we're going to have three elements, a input, a span, which will be a button and the image. The input is going to be a checkbox and we are going to hide it and use the peer class. When you use the peer class on a element, you can create different styles on the sibling elements depending on the state of this input. In this case, we have a checkbox. So that means we can use classes such as peer checked or peer active to change the style of the other elements depending on if this input is checked or not. Let's give this button some padding, make the background purple, text white, give it some rounded corners and cursor pointer. Let's set a width for the image, rounded corners. So we wanna hide this image and we want the image to be visible when the input box is checked and we wanna hide it when it's not checked. We can do that by scaling this image to zero, which will practically make it hidden and using the peer checked class, we can increase the scale back to a hundred and let's also make it smooth by using transition transform with a duration of 300. Let's see when we click on the button, the input should be checked and the image becomes visible. And if I click on it again, it is going to scale back to zero.